How do, ladies and gents, and welcome back to the Wasted Talent channel. It's me, Freddy. I do. We're making a return. Hopefully, at last this time, we can press on with this channel. Now, you join me on the Choose Managerial Style screen because what I've got loaded here is Freddy Adu's real life credentials. I don't believe he has any coaching badges, so we're going to start with none. And he's an international footballer. I thought about saying global level, but I think that might be pushing it a bit. He did play for the US, though. I mean, I did play for the US, though. So, uh, definitely at least continental level. Uh, style, eh, I'm not going to do any coaching, so we'll shift it all the way towards tactical manager. And now I want a lot of motivating. Don't need player knowledge, I'll hire other people to have player knowledge. Need determination, that can stay high. Adaptability can stay high. Youngster knowledge, we'll go with tens for discipline and then we'll put everything into motivating. I think that's the most important stat, by the way, this year and last year as well, actually, in your manager stats, so we'll go with that. But what we're going to do with this save is we're going to do, and I've just realised that I'm going to now sit while you watch me create the save name. As you can guess by Toffee, I'm going to have an Everton save going as well. <laughs> uh, but this is going to be a journeyman save. So we're starting off unemployed. I've got a lot of leagues ticked. Um, and you can see here a few available jobs. We're looking at those in some more detail once the save's done. I really shouldn't have started at that point, should I have? I did now. There'll be a lot of this. this. These episodes will take me hours to film and will be like 15 minutes long because going through the game is going to take forever. Oh, the saving didn't take too long. So let's have a look who doesn't currently have... Rangers currently don't have a manager. Um, I don't think that with no badges we're <laughs> too likely to get that. Um, are there any jobs in here that we're likely to get? Uh, Everton, I somehow doubt it. Uh, I think a lot of these are actually looking like they might be too good. Start. That would be a good place to start. Start. <laughs> IK start in the their second in the Norwegian first division. Why have they sat their manager then if they're second? That's pretty decent, right? Is there a league above that? Yeah. That's still not that bad. IK start. Let's have a look at you. You got you got no vice captain. Your captain is Rolf Daniel Vikstol. And the key player is Stefan Lai. Ske Skelevik, Skelevik. Uh, oh, he's a striker with good finishing, good physicals, mentals are all right. You know what? Yeah, we'll go for this job <laughs> based on based on him alone. Uh, we will declare interest. Oh, that, that, don't let me do this every time. And uh, let's have a look at the job advert. Um, we'll apply for it. Twenty-five grand wage bill. Wait, what? Oh, whatever. Uh, yeah, apply for it. Yes. Have you frozen? FM, have you frozen? Oh, no, we're good. Right, let's have a look <laughs> what else there is. <laughs> what else there is going at the minute. Okay, so these are the... Um, oh, I can't be a director of football, can I? So that's a bit pointless. Let's only show manager positions, shall we? Make this nice and easy for me. Now, I am listed here as the leading candidate for the start job, so it does look as though that's where we're going to start. Now, we could also go for Hlandundo, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it with the double L, in the Welsh Premier League, uh, the JD Welsh Premier League. Um, I imagine that's JD Sport. Uh, okay, so, oh, the season hasn't started, that'll be nice. Uh, let's have a look at the key player. Uh, the captain is Tommy Dick, so we've got actual faces. And the key player is Mark Williams, who's a striker with 14 finishing. Is that a theme? Is, that, is every team's uh, key player a striker with 14 finishing? Um, he's got a bit of pace about him, not a whole lot else. Mentally, very poor. Striker, he's got 10 composure, that's all right. Can't constantly, he's got ADHD. <laughs> he makes poor choices. Um, he can't see. <laughs> How can a professional footballer have free kick taking of two? I've never understood that, but whatever. Um, we'll go and we'll, we'll wait. What am I doing? Oh yeah, we'll declare interest and we will apply for this job as well. Are there any others that we stand a chance in hell of being able to get? Let's have a look. Not short list. Job centre. Um, oh, we're we're tipped for that one as well now. Uh, Turkish second tier. Adana DS. Uh, there's a couple of Scottish teams that we might be able to get. 
I seriously doubt we'll get Rangers. I seriously, seriously doubt it. They're a three star reputation team. I'll apply for it anyway and declare interest while we're here. Why not? Do I go to the top of the. Um, no. Louis van Gaal. I doubt. I, honestly, if it, if it was down to me, I would hire him over me. Let's have a look at his credentials. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's far better at his job than I am. Right, let's have a look, though. Estoril, Portuguese Premier League. I'm going to say, aren't they? Oh, Van Gaal's tips for that one as well. So we'll see which one he gets. I might go for Adana DS. Let's have a look. Is their key player a striker with 14 finishing? Oh, is a striker with 11 finishing? Oh, excellent physical. Look how quick he is. Oh, he's pacey. Actually, yeah, I'll play him on a wing. Theo Mende. You know what? Yeah, go on then while we're here. I mean, all these jobs, I might as well just declare interest and apply for them all. Uh, I know that can hurt you in the application process because they say, oh, why are you applying for so many different jobs? But, um, you know, I just want a decent job. Shall we go? We could go to Labrooks League 2, Clyde or Cowden Beath. Uh, let's have a look who their key player is. David Syme? Yeah, Syme. He's a centre back with 11 tackling. 13 heading, though, 6 foot 2. Yeah, not amazing. Um, we'll go for it anyway. Why not? We'll. We'll declare interest and we'll apply. I should probably just have applied for the ones that I really want rather than just like applying everywhere. It's like it's like one of those kids fresh out of school where I just print off a hundred copies of my CV and just start throwing them at people in the street. Um, let's have a, a, a look. Verde Bremen, I somehow doubt it. Esther Real. Is this realistic or not? Key player is clever. Yeah, I somehow doubt it. Portuguese Premier League. Season's not started yet. Uh, we'll, we'll declare interest and <laughs> we'll apply for it. <laughs> There's a theme going on here, have you noticed? Um, is that, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Let's just do it. <laughs> That's where it was going, wasn't it? So we might as well. Now, which ones are we the leading candidate for? There's five of them, wow. So we're five to two odds to get the start job, four to one to get Adana or Sunderland. Uh, were heavy favourites for Cowden Beef. One to five, and same for uh, that one, the Welsh one. Hla I work with a couple of Welsh people, I might ask. Hlandud no, Hlandud no, I think. I, you know what? Tell you what, if I get that job, I'll learn how to pronounce it. Now I've got 15 billion bloody questions to answer from the press. Uh, yeah, that one. Oh, yeah, that. I'll just go for the second top one every single time. Yeah, cool. All right, fine. Whatever. Ah. All right, so we've got our first batch of interview offers. <laughs> so we've got a bit of a bit of a selection here, a bit of a smorgas. We have Bury, Gillingham, Verde Bremen. Tours FC, who I don't think I looked at, Estoril, that one, and that one. So let's have a look at these other teams that I didn't look at. So the Adana Demirspor are in the Turkish second tier. Uh, oh, I did look at these. Theo Mendy. Yeah. yeah, 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 I remember now. He looked decent. Uh, Henan Jian are in the Chinese Super League. Uh, key player is Borek Dokal, who is Czech. Czech winger, holy cow, he's good. Well, he's slow for a winger, but his technical ability is incredible. Holy, well, you play in them in the middle lane, surely. Decent mentals, good, for, well, better than decent, very good mentals. Let's have a look at the rest of the squad while we're here. Players, senior squad, any names you recognize, guys? Uh, Christian Bassagog, do I recognize, or is it that because I'm thinking of Basson? <laughs> Possibly thinking of Basson. <laughs> Uh no. Oh Ricardo Vazte. Wasn't he was he he's 30 years old? Wasn't he West Ham? Yeah. Ricardo Vazte is 30. Wow. Is he any good? Uh -oh, didn't mean to go back, did I? I just meant to go back to overview. And now I can't see oh there he is. Uh he's not No, he's not good, is he? Um So he has the foreign symbol next to him, because Chinese Super League now has very strict uh, regulations on the number of foreign players you can have and also how much you can spend. Uh, so Henan Jian 
<laughs> Jan Janye, um, <laughs> what's their budgets like? Can I see their finances? Or do I need to? Uh, do I need to maybe like take the interview first before I can get uh, information on that kind of thing? Um, let's have a look here. Average ticket price eleven pounds. Reasonable, reasonable. Average season ticket one hundred and twenty pounds. Very reasonable, very reasonable. Um, I don't. Do I want to start off in China? That would be interesting. It's not something I've ever done on Football Manager. As I say, ever. I think they've only been in the game for two years, haven't they? But still. Um, I've heard of Bremen. Now the Gillingham and Bury ones. Oh, Everton have turned me down. Shock horror. The Ever the Bury and Gillingham ones are very similar to say I I've done countless saves in England. So I will take a job in England, probably at some point in the save, but probably not straight away. Verde Bremen used to be a really big club, but in recent times have kind of floundered. Uh, 8th, 13th, 10th, 12th, 14th, yeah, not really. Their best player is Thomas De Delaney. And he is incredibly good. He look at that mental column, that's Astonishing. Um, I've signed him on this game already on a save I did for Arsenal, I believe. Ah, Max Cruz, of course. Yes, Max Cruz. Um, Gebre Selassie is a good right back. Uh, anyone else who recognise guys? Anyone else jumping out of here? Because not really for me. Um, Moisander, is he a centre back? Uh, mm, looks okay. He's got a red injury, two to three months. Mm. Mm, that can be a maybe pile. In fact, better than maybe pile. I think I'll attend this interview first. Verder Bremen. Let's have a chat. Hello, Freddie. We've invited you along today. It's Marco Bode, the chairman. All right, so let's get down to business. All right. How would you overcome the relatively big obstacle of not speaking the language? Yeah, that would be a problem, wouldn't it? Uh, I'm fairly adept at learning languages. That is, I don't think Freddie, I don't think I um, learned much Portuguese, but uh, whatever. Uh, Dear. Can you explain why you appear to be in the running for a few jobs right now? I'm merely considering my options. Uh, we part of coming with the last manager sooner than anybody would have anticipated. Can you offer assurances that we won't move in for a repeat of that? Um, it's my intention to commit to a long and successful career with this club. That's a lie. Uh, I'm not so I'm, I'm so mind of what's doing now. I want short term success, and I think I can make it happen here. Mm. I'm gonna say this, even though it's a lie. Everyone lies in job interviews, right? That's the point. Uh, how do you feel about working with our current director of football, Frank Bauman? Yeah, fine. They don't actually do anything. Uh, we understand the importance of having the right backroom team in place when a manager moves into a club. Uh, they're asking me if I want to make changes. Um, the only change I'd really be that interested in making is the assistant manager if they're not good enough. Uh, so uh, I'll go for that one. Uh, if I do expect to develop players from the club's youth setup, is this something you'll be willing to do? Absolutely, I love doing that. Absolutely love doing that. Uh, are there any job aspects you wish to be judged? No, not that, not that fussed about philosophy experience, guys. Uh, if I do expect to finish in a mid-table position, do you think you can do better than that? I think top half is foreseeable. There's 18 teams in um, the German first division, and they came eighth last year, so top half, surely. We have first transfer budget of 1.8 million. Be sufficient? Uh, probably not, but you've got a good squad already. Mm. Slightly larger, we'll say slightly. Should you get the job, uh, we're willing to provide you with a wage budget of 650 grand. That's fucking loads, yeah. Uh, I'd be happy to work with that. Yep. I don't have anything else to propose. Let's end that interview. So that's how the interviews go. Uh, I'm going to go and do a couple more, I think. We'll go Demrespoor. We'll go for the Chinese one. Why not? In fact, I think I'm going to do these top four here. And I'm going to leave. I'm going to actually decline interview for Bury and Gilling. And we're not going to start off in England. I've done so many saves in England. I've, even, I've done like three already on this game. Never mind previous games. So uh, I'm going to do Tours, Estoril, Henan, Gianni. I'll learn it if I get it. And Adania, Dem, Demir Sport. I'll learn it if I get it. <laughs> and I'll come back in a minute. Anybody wondering if this Chinese team has a massive budget? If one of the big boys, four million pound transfer budget. Probably not. Although that's much better than the 55 grand that Demir Sport have. Wow. Slightly larger, please. Oh, slightly larger again. 
So interviews done, it's time to continue. This might take a million years due to the number of, um, wow, Scotland. Oh, wait, I'm gonna apply to that if I didn't already. Scotland, mind you, that'd be great. Where, where's that, where's that, where's that, where's that, where's that? And where is it? I never realized that the international jobs don't appear on the job center screen. Well, we're absolutely gonna apply to be the Scotland manager. That'd be so much fun. It'd take a million years to simulate through <laughs> on this particular save, but that would be good. Uh, Chile international manager, US. I've got to go for that, haven't I? Have to go for the, the international job in my homeland. Uzbekistan might be interesting. Cook Islands would be very interesting. Do they have any real players? Are they made up? Uh, senior squad. No, they're real. Okay. Um, any of them even remotely half decent? Let's go for uh, club. So no, not club selection. What do I? What, what do I want, guys? What am I trying to think of? General info. Yeah. None of them have any value. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> um, all right. International. None of them have any caps. Are they real? Oh wow! Wow! <laughs> wow. Have they ever played a game? No. They have a friendly arranged against Micronesia. <laughs> maybe not. We'll maybe not take that one. Uzbekistan, though. I'm going to go for that. And, um, you know what? Chile as well. Yeah, go on. Why not? Let's just apply to every job. That ever becomes available for any team anywhere. All right, here we go. Kalmar FF have sacked Bergstrand. Let's have a look at Kalmar FF. Uh, they are in the Swedish Premier League. Uh, they have what I presume is a very real badge. Um, the key player is Rasmus Elm. Didn't he used to be a big deal? CSKA, yeah, went on a free to Kalmar. Hasn't really done much since. Um, so has their season started then? Oh, oh yeah, quite. Oh wow. Okay. Fifteenth. Oh, I imagine fifteen, sixteen. Ten points from sixteen games. It's a relegation battle. But if Rasmus Elm's a decent player, right? Let's have a look at the rest of the squad. Um, okay, these average ratings. Holy cow. That's bad. That's really bad. Uh, Ayrton. Right, he's come in and made one appearance, got a goal at 7.2, so let's have a look at you. Uh, homegrown talent, 29-year-old Kosovan. Not sure how he's homegrown then. Um, he's not bad, he's alright. Two players both called from Mario. <laughs> both playing abysmally. Um, <laughs> yeah, go on. We'll have, a, we'll have a pokey at this. Why not? I've gone for every other job, right? Okay, so Werder Bremen. Uh, I've turned me down. Uh, the board were willing to accept the following areas of the club vision that you propose to change in your interview transfer budget because I said I'd want slightly more um, to meet the expectations that they had. So uh, they've turned me down, but uh, they've gone for L E E D Dieter Elitz, a German who has far better stats than me. So yeah, fair dudes. The Nice job has now come up as well. Jean-Michael Seri, who you will have seen if you watch either Work the Space or um, Dr. Benji in this year's game because they've both signed him in their uh, current saves, Arsenal and Liverpool. Uh, he is a phenomenal player. Um, nice also have some other guys that you will have heard of. Uh, they've got uh, such as Dante, um, former FIFA favourite. Mario Balotelli, Wesley Schneider. Vincent Cosiello, who was once a wonder kid. Uh, still only 21. Ah, his technicals aren't. haven't progressed that much though, valued at 4.6 mil. I want this job actually. I want to look after him. I want to. Yeah, we'll go with this. I I'd love to work with Ballo. That would be incredible, wouldn't it? But with that in mind, we have received an offer from Henan. Hen the, the Chinese team. Henan Jiande. And I'm just going to delay it for now. Uh, yeah, delay for a week just to see what else we might get. So we now have similar offers from Tours FC, which I'm gonna delay, uh, yes, and Adana DS as well, which I'll also delay. Did they both accept the delay? Yes, they do, okay. 
because I do I would like I think the niece job is now my first uh, priority if I can get an interview for that and if I can land it then that's the job that I'll take um, but that's unlikely and if I don't get it then out of those three out of those three I think I'll have to have another look at them all St. Pat's Athletic mm, nah I think I need to be more selective now. That I've got some offers on the table. I don't need to just go for everything. I've been offered the job of um, <laughs> being the China under 23s manager, the Iran under 23s manager, um, the South Korea under 23s manager, or the Australia under 23s manager. I'm going to decline them all. Uh, I know I know I could uh, take one of these and still be uh, a club manager as well, but uh, I didn't realise that there were senior international job offers as well, so I think I'll just stick to senior jobs rather than under 23s. Unless it's like, you know, England or US or Scotland or something. Uzbekistan have turned me down, and Estoril have approached me. Delay? Okay. Only now interested in Nice, really. Nice is the only one I think that I would take ahead of all the others that were currently kind of in the running for. Otherwise, I'll have to pick from one of those four that we've been offered. I honestly don't know where I'd go. Been offered an interview by Clyde of the Scottish, what's their League 2 fourth tier? Yeah. Um, is it fourth or third tier? I'm pretty sure it's fourth. Yeah, it's fourth. I'm not going to take that one. Sunderland have offered me an interview. Um, I, re I regret even applying for that. I don't want that. Uh, IK Star. Oh my god, it's the Star. That, that day took a while. You were the first people I applied to. Why are you only offering me an interview now? Uh, Rangers offer me an interview. That would be really interesting. Cowden Beath now. MI MBI. That's the Welsh one, so no. IK Star. I'll do the IK Star interview. And I'll do the Rangers interview as well. Henan Tours and Adana have all agreed to another delay for another week while I search for different jobs. <laughs> Sorry guys, you, I, I'm considering all three of you, honest. Alright, here we go, we've got a Nice interview. This is what we wanted. Alright, let's just ace this. I'm adept at learning languages. I'm considering my options. Happy to work with your director of football. Okay, oh yeah. Mm. You know what, I'll, I'll say I don't want any changes, just to try and kiss up to you a little more. They like developing players from the club's youth system, I love that. Uh, okay, so they expect to challenge for Euro Cup qualification. Yeah, I think that's realistic. 5.5 um, mil is fine, because they've already got good players, and the wage budget's fine as well. No requests. Alright, I want that job. Rangers are asking me for backroom staff changes. I only want to check the assistant, uh, Jonathan Johansson. He's awful. So yeah, let's get rid of him. So here's the situation as it stands. If I can get the niece job, then I'll get the niece job. If I can't, then I think I'll go for the Rangers job. And if not that, then I'm thinking maybe Esther Real. Oh, Star have approached me. That would be a great, just, just for the pun alone. For the great start, but Rangers. Rangers have approached me. I'm going to delay it. You okay with that? Yeah, everyone's okay with delaying. I've delayed some of them twice now. Although, just thinking about it, with my lack of coaching badges, would anyone listen to my team talks? If I go for too high a club too early without getting the badges first, am I setting myself up for failure? Hmm. Will Henan, Tours, and Adana accept a third delay? Oh, uh, no, they won't. They won't accept another delay. So, Adana, I need to either take the job now or reject it. Adana, Demiris, this is more stressful than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> this is the Turkish one with no money. So, I will just walk away. Uh, Tours FC on my back. Tours FC are the one that I want. I don't. I, China would be interesting. But we'll try and delay this and I, I think they're going to reject it. Yeah, they are. I'm going to have to walk away. Tours, please accept them or another delay. I just want to see if I can get Nice or not. No. Mm. Okay, I'm walking away from that. Oh, I might regret that. I might regret that massively. This is more stressful than actually playing the game. 
At least I've got that Rangers one in my pocket if Nice decide to go somewhere else. But I can't risk delaying them too much and them forcing my hand as well. Estoril also haven't taken another delay, so I'm going to have to walk away from that one too. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling like this is going to be hugely regretful for me. Oh, we're nearly in August. Oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? This is risky. This is so risky. If this backfires, this is going to be an abject failure. Mulder have sacked Ole Gunnar Solskjaer. We will just declare interest in that. We'll not apply yet, but we'll declare our interest. Okay. Laurent Blanc has gone in as manager of Lyon. Uh, that's a much better choice than me, I guess, isn't it? <laughs> I imagine, yeah, he's far better at managing than me. Mulder might not be bad. Um, Rangers is still there. We will actually apply for Mulder now that um, taking positives from it. I will actually apply for Mulder now then. Uh, we'll apply for that. Uh, but I think I might take the Rangers job. I really didn't want to be in the UK though. Because I do so many, I, I, I've not done many Scottish saves, but it would have been nice to go somewhere else. I think Mulder might be a good option. I think Rangers will agree to one more delay, and I think that'll be it. Yeah, they'll agree to one more. Has their season started yet? No. When does it start? Let's have a look. Uh, schedule. Oh, well, it has actually started. The, oh, they're in the, they're in the Europa League qualifying stages. Nice. Against Videoton. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great name for a team. Uh, their season starts in five days against Motherwell, and they play Motherwell again in the cup three days later. They can get by that without me. Okay, so Start won't reject, won't accept another delay, and I dare say that Rangers won't either. No, they won't. Ugh. Mulder would have been nice, but I am going to take two-year contract with Rangers. Oh, that was way more stressful than the actual game, right? Than Rangers. Rangers it is. All right. No experience. <laughs> First ever job in management is Rangers. It's not what I was expecting, but it'll do for now. Uh, how did they do in that European game? They went through. They have one more playoff against Everton. That's who I'm currently doing a save on in my own time. Everton. Wow, that would be difficult. Uh, when do we play Celtic? Oh, September. Don't we play four times in the league? Yep, January. <laughs> oh, three times. And then, the, oh yeah, the Scottish Premier League works like that now, doesn't it? You play everyone three times. And then they get split into top half and bottom half. And then they play like another few games against each other. And I don't know. We'll find out as we go on, I imagine. Right, we're not going to look at the team. We're not going to look at anything else because I've been recording for nearly an hour. And so this is going to be episode one. We are starting the journey in Scotland. Not exactly what I had anticipated, but that's how it's panned out. It would have been nice to be in France. I considered China, but I just don't, I can't see where I could go from there beyond just doing a season with or two with that team and then moving somewhere else. With Scotland, with Rangers, we can maybe try and win them their first, like, you know, break the Celtic hold on this league. I mean, how many years in a row have they won it for now? Oh, not as many as I thought actually. Rangers last won it in 2011, um, and then obviously you know the the uh, the money troubles hit, and then the Scottish the Scottish league punished them by relegating them, and then changing the league structure so that they didn't get promoted when they earned it, which is baffling. Uh, the one league game in, and they won it. Um, let's have a look at uh, how that game went uh, against Motherwell away, one nil win. Daniel Candejas with the goal. So, we'll have a look at all the players and stuff like that in the next episode. The next episode, I think, uh, shall we do the Everton games? Yeah, let's do the Everton games in the first episode. I'll try and get some players in, maybe see what kind of money I've got, uh, sort the club out, have a look at the players, uh, play the Mudwell Cup game and the Hibernian game, and then I'll join you for the match against Everton. This has been Freddie Adu. Peace.